What's up, people? Guys, I'm gonna show you today all tier one staff weapons, how you can get them all kind of ways and how you can use them for the specific situations like in PvE or the PvP, large scale battle, small scale battle, which weapon you will need to have to maximize your proficient. Also, guys, I will tell you which weapons are the shit and which weapons you have to focus. This video is especially for the staff, but I will make similar video for each weapon exist in throne and liberty like in daggers like in bows crossbows red swords sword and shields and all type of the weapons and all type of the ways to get those weapons first we have the immortal ruin stuff this is kind of garbage stuff this stuff you will never use as a weapon but you will need it as the supply and you will see this at the end of the video how you can get this stuff it's an easy you just have to go to the salus abyss you have to kill the mobs and you have to gather 10 orbs and after that you can craft this stuff so you will never need this stuff as in use and the uh, second one is this uh, golem heart extraction stuff i'm sure for a lot of people this will be uh stuff for the trade and stuff for the main hand for some kind of the people since it's have the range and you can get this stuff from the guild but remember guys your guild have to be at least 10 level to make the purchase for this stuff chest you can use this stuff also as a trade to extract a trade from the stuffs you can check my channel and find the video how you can extract the items to put your own weapons as the stat so this stuff will be popular on the auction house and for some people they may wear this one the second one we have this elite resistance stuff and this stuff will be your first blue weapon since the main storyline quest will gift you this stuff and uh, you can also craft this stuff to uh, lithograph uh, all the green stuff to craft the green stuffs are super easy you just have to get a receipt from the contract coin merchant or even the uh, even the campaign also giving you that and you can just to collect the uh, all the stuffs in the green side and you can get this as the second stuff to uh, unlock the traits like in heat heavy attack chance crit or or weakening or anything what you want this will be your first stuff and this is also so powerful stuff it's have one of the most higher uh, damage but it's have the range problem that's why someone may wear this one and not uh, this one so these two stuff in the blue side blue weapons will be so popular at the early stages at uh, next up we have this destroy worship uh, barbarian stuff this is so good i think if you are stuff one if your stuff one this stuff is really good it gives you a lot of amount of the hit 190 hit is so high and it gives you awakening chance and its passives gives you 10 percent poison apple chance so it's also have the huge amount of the range guys 90.2 meter is so high range you know it is so rng you can get this stuff at the early stages from the bosses but uh, at the end of the game uh, you will need this stuff and with uh, that uh this stuff and this stuff you will need for make the lithograph to get the purple resistant stuff so if you will not be uh, lucky to get this from the dungeon you may will get this from the boxes which is more end game content so don't find something especially for this stuff but if you will get the lucky and if you will uh take this stuff i would recommend you to use uh this one uh to compare to this one i would swap it you know uh, if i would drop this I would use it as the mine weapon since the trade for this one will be on the auction house it drops in an instance and you will not have a problem to trade it it's a huge range it's a low damage at least but uh, it's have the huge amount of the hit which is high important so uh, this one is also the garbage not no one is using this you need uh, this uh, blue this one uh, and this one also for uh, the resistance a lithograph to finish it so don't uh, suffer yourself to get this one since you can finish your lithograph easy and this is not something what you have to use as the blue weapon this is the way how you can get abyssal witcher stuff also let's move now and let's check the purple weapons yes guys purple stuff weapons in the list i have this uh, umbromancer stuff it will not be easy to get since it's the limited content and it's dropping in sardoma island and it's dropping in sardoma island chess which you can get from the contract sardoma island contracts blue contract check the videos about the contracts guys on my channel it is highly important i don't want to talk about the contracts in this video this is not a contract video so check the video if you are interested what is the contract in throne and liberty so this stuff you can get uh, so easy but and this is not uh, the best purple stuff but for some people and for some classes this is really good stuff for since it's have a huge amount of perception and straight and if you're trying to max your attributes uh 
this stuff is so perfect for you. It's even the normal one, you know, it's not the bad stuff. Uh, next, we have uh, that Hubble uh, Thunder Soul, uh, Thunder Soul Soul. Uh, so this one will be the number one popular since you can get it from the instance and everyone will have this one they even nerf this stuff on this database it's the misinformation about the range it will not have range anymore it will have the uh cooldown and the magical uh, range and melee critical hit from 32 parameters of the distance gets down from the 20 but still this stuff will be so popular since you can easily trade this stuff since a lot of people will do the uh, dungeons and they will uh, put the items on the auction house. Next we have the Talos Resonance stuff. Uh, this is the number one, number second stuff on this uh, stage after the Queen's Baladriel Archipo stuff and this stuff will be so expensive and this stuff will be so hard to get. This stuff is really good for the one versus one PvP since it have the passive for the passive for the uh, penetration of the freeze. If someone will stun you, it will freeze your character so they cannot continue to drop you down or make some combination uh, which which is uh, asking to target have to be stunned. So these stuff also have so huge damage. It's of dexterity, it's of uh, critical hit and this is one of the best. I will target to get this stuff as my tier 1 main weapon. To get the Talus stuff, you have to kill the Talus world boss, which is sometimes the conflict and sometimes the piece one but it's have the rng to drop it and second way is to enter with the guild raid to kill the talus boss and get it from the guild raid but guys if you will have the mages in the guild raid they will also need this one so it will not be easy to get and this one is a tablet one yeah uh, most people will use it for the main in any kind of scenarios before they was nerfing it as the range stuff uh stuff boss was using this uh so often but now i don't know man uh, the range nerf hits this stuff so hard we have the special resistance stuff for the most of the people this stuff will be the first weapon and if you ask me is it bad or is it good i will tell you something at the starting of the game on the korea it was bad to have this stuff but i see after they uh, upgraded the turtles tower this is the solo instance you will face while you are leveling up you are getting a lot of purple weapon enchants which uh, leads you to finish your first purple weapon as a plus nine and i will do something I will enchant this one as the uh, this one as the plus nine. I will do it, and I will swap it with this stuff. And when I will get the uh, Talus one, I will swap this one to the Talus one. You know, I will start to play the game as the purple weapon with this one, since uh, in Throne and Liberty damage is so important part. And to get this tablet is the RNG. It depends how good we can kill with the blue weapons as the boss. And if I see that we cannot easily kill the boss with the blue weapons, I will get this stuff. If I will kill this tablet boss easy, then I will stay with this stuff to farm it. But if it will be harder, I will get this one. The ways to get the special resistance stuff is easy. You have to do the contracts and you can get uh, the contract coins and purchase it with the contract coins. Or you can finish your blue lithograph with the blue weapons. All of these weapons you will need to sacrifice and you can get this one. That, why, that was the reason how you needed this. Some shit uh, stat stuffs just for the lithograph to get this one. Also guys, if you will get as it as the second one, you can extract the trade from this stuff and you can gain a lot of lucent from the trades as the purple it will be so expensive next we have the light bringer prayer stuff i i don't even see anyone to use this stuff this is so garbage you can get this from uh the sardoma island uh, as the direct drop or you can get it from the sardoma island chest or the bags from the sardoma island contract and this is just a trade i call this stuff to get a trade from this nothing not for the handle or for the use it and the next one is the aridus dark stuff this stuff was so garbage at the stage of the korea but they upgraded this one you know the passives it tells you that you will have collision immunity if you stand one place but they change it and now it has if you will stay uh, on the same position at the five second you get 30 attack damage and uh, if you will move for next two seconds you will still have 30 attack damage this stuff is highest damage dealer stuff on the purple weapons after the queen's balandier and with additional 30 attack i think i think for the pve this stuff will burst i mean it, it will burst at least that for the mages to have this as the mage i mean uh, the healer is the dps healer in the pve i think this is the good but uh, not perfect for pvp or 
those kind of the situation. And the final one, we have the Arcboss Weapon Queen's Baladriel. It will come so late of the game. It will be end game content. And uh, uh, to get this stuff, uh, man, you have to face against the whole server. Queen's Baladriel also will be peace and the conflict zone. And this stuff will cost you even the cars price, even for some countries the houses price. So this will be so expensive stuff. Is this stuff best for all kind of scenarios? Uh, after the nerf, I, I say no. I mean, it, it's get nerfed 20% minus damage. It, this one have the wrong damage right now, and even it's the plus 12, sorry. Uh, this will be, this was the damage, and to compare this damage to the Talus one as an example, that was crazy, right? But it's get 20% nerf uh, at the damage, so it will not be that much powerful anymore. And this stuff is mostly for uh, our fights, you know, at the castle, this is the best one. At the massive fights, this is the best one. Uh, and for the single target there at the updates there is coming a way better stuff so don't stack yourself that i will have this stuff and i'm done with the game and the next two years i will uh, never need to change the uh, change the stuff no you will need it and this is not the the best uh, and this is not something that you have to sacrifice yourself so guys uh, that was that i will make the videos again for other weapons like can daggers like can ones great swords all type of the weapons how you can get them in what type of the scenarios and situations each weapons are the best for the use if you don't want to miss those kind of the videos hit the subscribe button every day i'm starting to push the videos like in daily four videos four guidelines for the new players or for the players who did not play throne and liberty long time ago i have huge amount of experience about throne and liberty from the korean region and i'm ready to share you this experience to you guys so hit the subscribe button to don't miss upcoming videos and if you like this video hit the like button as always guys see you in the next video.